Imagine walking into a bustling city where everyone is going about their business, interacting, communicating, and making the city alive. This city, vibrant and full of life, is much like our brain, a hub of ceaseless activity. Here, the workers, the ones that keep the wheels of this intricate machine turning, are the neurons. Neurons, or nerve cells, are the fundamental units of the brain and nervous system, the very lifeblood of our thoughts, emotions, and actions. They are like the busy city dwellers, constantly communicating and interacting to keep the city, our brain, alive and functioning. Each neuron is a small yet essential part of the whole, and without them, the city of our mind would come to a standstill. Just as a city thrives on the exchange of goods, information and services, our brain thrives on the exchange of electrical and chemical signals carried out by the neurons. They are the messengers, delivering important information from one part of the brain to another, from the brain to the muscles, and from sensory organs back to the brain. Every thought we think, every emotion we feel, every move we make, is the result of millions of neurons firing and communicating with each other. They are the reason we can enjoy a beautiful sunset, savor the taste of our favorite food, or solve a complex mathematical problem. But neurons are not just messengers. They are also the architects of our brain, shaping and reshaping neural pathways based on our experiences, helping us learn, remember, and adapt. They construct the city of our mind, building and rebuilding, always changing, always evolving. So the next time you marvel at the complexity of a city, remember the city within your own mind, bustling with activity, teeming with life, all thanks to the tireless work of the neurons. Now, wouldn't you want to know more about these incredible workers, the neurons? So what makes these workers, the neurons, so special? Well, let's dive right in. Imagine a neuron as a tree. Yes, a tree in the forest of our brain, with its own unique structure and purpose. Let's start with the cell body, or the trunk of our tree. This is the neuron's command center. It contains the nucleus, which is the brain of the cell, directing all its actions and containing its genetic material. The cell body also has other vital components, like mitochondria that provide energy, and ribosomes that produce proteins. Branching out from the cell body, we have branches, or dendrites. These are short, tree-like extensions that receive messages from other neurons and carry them towards the cell body. Think of dendrites like the roots of our tree, pulling in nutrients from the soil. Except, in this case, they're pulling in information, not nutrients. Then we have the axon. This is the trunk extending into the ground, or the long, slender projection that takes messages away from the cell body and sends them to other neurons. Picture the axon as the trunk of our tree extending deep into the ground, reaching out to other trees in the forest. To protect and insulate the axon, we have a layer called the myelin sheath. It's like the bark of our tree protecting the trunk. The myelin sheath ensures that the messages or electrical impulses traveling down the axon get to their destination quickly and efficiently. And lastly, at the end of the axon, we have axon terminals or synaptic terminals. These are like the roots at the end of our tree trunk, reaching out into the soil. They're responsible for transmitting the neuron's message to other neurons or to the muscles or glands in the body. And that's the basic structure of a neuron, a tiny but complex worker in the city of our brain. Just like in a city where you have different workers for different jobs, in the world of neurons, we have different types of neurons. These are the sensory neurons, motor neurons, and interneurons. Each one has a unique role, much like the workers in a bustling metropolis. Now, let's imagine for a moment that our city is the human body. First up, we have the sensory neurons, the mailmen of our city. They're responsible for delivering messages from our body's sensory receptors to the central nervous system, just like mailmen deliver mail to our houses. Whenever you touch something hot or cold, it's the sensory neurons that send that information to your brain. Next, we have the interneurons, the decision makers of our city. These are found solely in the central nervous system. They receive the messages from our sensory neurons and decide what action needs to be taken. Picture them as the city officials who receive the mail and make decisions based on the information they've received. Finally, we have the motor neurons, the construction workers of our city. 
Once the interneurons have made their decision, it's the motor neurons that take action. If you've touched something hot, for example, your motor neurons will receive the message from the interneurons and cause your hand to pull away. They're the ones who put the city officials' decisions into action. But remember, this is a simplified analogy. In reality, the process is much more complex. Each type of neuron can have thousands of connections with other neurons, creating a vast and intricate network that allows us to think, feel, move, and experience the world around us. So, you see, each type of neuron has a specific role to play in this bustling city of ours. From the sensory neurons delivering messages to the interneurons making decisions, and the motor neurons carrying out those decisions, our body is a complex, well-oiled machine thanks to these tiny neural workers. Now let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. How do these neurons communicate with the rest of the body? Imagine the city of your body, bustling with activity and life. The neurons are the citizens, constantly chattering and passing messages around. But how do these messages travel across the vast expanse of the city? Enter nerves and ganglia, the highways and junctions of our body's communication network. Nerves are like the major highways of our body, composed of bundles of nerve fibers, or axons. These are the long, slender projections of neurons that carry electrical impulses. Just as highways connect different parts of a city, nerves connect different parts of our body, allowing neurons to communicate with each other and with other cells, like muscle cells. A nerve doesn't work alone, though. It's part of a vast network, working in harmony with other nerves to ensure messages are delivered accurately and efficiently. Now, what about ganglia? If nerves are the highways, ganglia are the bus stops or junctions. They're clusters of nerve cell bodies located outside the central nervous system. When a nerve impulse reaches a ganglion, it's like a bus reaching a stop. The impulse can either continue along the same route, or it can be passed on to another nerve, just like a passenger changing buses at a junction. Ganglia play a crucial role in our body's communication system. They're the relay points, ensuring that messages reach their intended destinations. If a nerve is a direct line from point A to point B, a ganglion is a hub that can connect points A, B, C, and D, ensuring a more complex and flexible communication system. In summary, Nerves and ganglia are the unsung heroes of our nervous system. They work tirelessly to ensure that our neurons can communicate, that our muscles can move, and that we can interact with the world around us. They're the vital infrastructure that keeps the city of our body running smoothly. So, nerves and ganglia are the communication lines that keep the city running smoothly. The world of neurons is complex and fascinating, just like a bustling city. In our journey so far, We've navigated through the intricate structure of neurons, the varied types of these specialized cells, and the intriguing differences between neurons, nerves, and ganglia. It's been a whirlwind tour, wouldn't you agree? Let's take a moment to appreciate the magnificence of these tiny cells. Each neuron with its dendrites, axon, and synapses is a marvel of biological engineering. They are the unsung heroes, working tirelessly, ensuring that we think, feel, move, and even dream. We've also learned about the different types of neurons. Sensory neurons, motor neurons, and interneurons, each with its unique role, come together to form an efficient network. It's a symphony of cellular activity that makes every thought, every action possible. Then we delved into the world of nerves and ganglia. Nerves, the superhighways of the body, carrying signals to and from the brain, and ganglia, the junction boxes, directing these signals to their correct destinations. But our understanding of neurons and the brain is far from complete. The field of neuroscience is like an uncharted territory, with new discoveries waiting at every turn. With ongoing research, we're slowly but surely uncovering more about the brain and diseases that affect it. Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, epilepsy. Understanding the role of neurons in these conditions could open up new avenues for treatment, even prevention. The world of neurons is not just a subject of academic interest. It's the very essence of what makes us, us. It's the engine of our thoughts, the canvas of our dreams, the orchestra of our emotions. It's a world that's as mysterious as it is beautiful. The city of neurons is full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. So don't stop here. Dive deeper, explore more, and who knows? You might just unlock a new secret of this amazing world.
we've only scratched the surface of the incredible world of neurons. Indeed, this intricate and fascinating universe is far more expansive than one could cover in a mere 10 minutes. It's a world that continues to enthrall scientists and researchers, with new discoveries being made every day. The journey to understanding this complex network is a lifelong one, and we invite you to join us in this captivating exploration. There's a wealth of knowledge out there waiting to be discovered. Books, for instance, are a treasure trove of information. Titles like The Telltale Brain by V.S. Ramachandran or The Neuron Cell and Molecular Biology by Erwin B. Levitan and Leonard K. Kaczmarek provide in-depth insights into the neuron structure, function, and importance in our lives. Online articles and scientific journals are also valuable resources. Websites like PubMed, Nature, and Neuroscience News offer a plethora of research papers and articles that delve into the latest advancements in neurology. Documentaries, too, play a crucial role in making this complex subject more accessible. Filmmakers, with their creative storytelling, have the ability to translate complex scientific concepts into a narrative that's engaging and easily understood. Documentaries like The Secret Life of the Brain or Brain Games not only educate, but also entertain. Podcasts as well are a rising trend in the world of education. Shows like Brain Science with Ginger Campbell Maryland or The Neurology Podcast provide bite-sized information that one can absorb on the go. So go forth and immerse yourself in this captivating world of neurons. Unravel the mysteries of the brain, one neuron at a time. Be it through books, articles, documentaries or podcasts, let your curiosity guide you. There's so much more to learn, so many more questions to ask. Remember, every journey into the mind is a step towards understanding the mysteries of the universe.